Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mom vs. Technology. How are you doing? Fine. I'm Frederick and this is Michelle. Uh, yes. <laughs> so today we're going to speak about sensitive data, personal data, and especially the ones relating your financials. Money, money, money. Oh. Oh, that's she's interested, right? <laughs> yes. So I'd like to know, Mom, do you use uh, bank applications on your phone? Of course. And how about on your computer? Do you also? I know it's not the same. On my computer, I pay things. Uh, I open the bank. I make transfer, and uh, it's secure because every time I receive a call. Okay, so what you're saying is, from your computer, you do more transactions. Yes. And every time you enter, you receive a code. Where do you receive this code? On my phone. All right. Okay, so that's actually a good thing. You know, you should always make sure that if you use some kind of bank service, there is at least two-factor authentication. Uh, you know, it's what you call something you know and something you have. Something you know is your password. Something you have is your phone. So that makes it much more difficult for an attacker because they would need not only to guess or brute force your password, but they will also need to have a, a physical device that's normally with you. So it's an extra layer of protection. And um, I'm just curious also, where do you keep uh, your password for your bank account? At home, on a special book. Okay. And uh, I hide it carefully. Ah, okay. So you mean you hide it in on paper, right? It's written on paper. It's yes. not in digital format. No. And then you hide it. Okay. Yes. Can you tell us where? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At least I tried. Anyway, that's it for today. And remember, be safe online, online and, and offline. offline. We'll see you soon. <laughs>